Now, the next bit we're going to get into is advanced workflows. So this is the bit of actually, okay, so we know where things exist. What do we do next? And for me, that is using this edit with AI feature. Now, edit with AI has completely changed how I work. And I'm hoping that it's probably going to change how you work as well. And then after we go with edit AI, we're going to go and describe with AI. Describe with AI as a creative has been the most helpful thing. Now, if you imagine, say, looking at a picture and trying to figure out how to describe it, even my own work, when I look at my own, like, my own art or my own images, it's like, how do you describe what I'm seeing in a way that a computer can under, a system can understand? And so this is a really helpful way of getting AI to kind of do computer vision imagery, like go and have a look at an image and be able to tell us what it's seeing back. Really, really helpful for being able to understand language. Language is critical for this kind of workflow. So let's get into it. Okay, I was making fun little worlds before. So I might just start with something a bit silly. I'm going to put it on maybe like creative and I'm going to say three abstract, abstract forms, fluffy green diamond. And second, we're going to do like a pink glossy lightning bolt. And a third, we'll do green, pink, and maybe like orange, and then orange patchwork cube. That's fine. So yeah, either improve prompt or auto. Let's run an auto and then let's also quickly just run a improve prompt. You'll notice the speed that this can generate out. It's unbelievable. Like oh, I put it on quality. Well, um, the fast mode, the fast mode is just so, so fast in the way that it works. So yeah, I really recommend like playing with the two different versions. You, you'll you sometimes get like different outcomes as well, different outputs with your aesthetics. So it can be fun to play with. I just want to get them started. So now we can get into the, the fun of edit with AI. Okay. Yeah. So fast mode obviously beat us. Okay. So this is my like first little outcome. They're kind of weird, kind of cute. I've got some shapes. I'm going to wait for this second one to render and see what I get because I have a feeling the other one's going to be more what I wanted. I'll just quickly show you what, okay, these are cool. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, these are fine starting place for me. So this workflow that I'm going to take us on today, I want it to be quite interesting. So this button here, edit with AI. Okay. Now this is this is like if if you know when you get gens and you're just like oh god I just wish her hair was different or I just wish that hand was different or oh, I wish that the jacket was green or blah 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 this is it this is where you do it <laughs> so I'm gonna say because I want to build this out into a world I want these cool quirky shapes and build out into a world so I'm gonna say use these shapes to make a new world. Now, what you'll notice is this little used fix seed. Now, seeds are really, really important for kind of like any sort of iterative process. So to get an idea and then, and you can find them here. So in this little dot over here, it'll say copy seed, or you can find the seed, or you get your generation information there. Um, pretty much what a seed is, is just a callback to the source material. So this, this is going to be our source material. So I want to make sure that this is where I started with this next future gen. I want it to kind of look similar to, to that. And we're going to build out upon it. Now, had I used this seed, because I can copy this seed and I can put it down here in this advanced setting. So use fixed seed. And when I generate... I can generate new things using these this like information. So if we copy the seed, it's like a number. You put it there. Um, and so then if I could now go and do any other prompt, if I go and type a different prompt, so I don't know, sunshine and a balloon, whatever, the, it's going to go and create it using that, that fixed seed. So the aesthetic is going to be the same. So these are really helpful information for kind of like if there's something, if there's a look that you love with a series, you can either use a style reference, which we're going to do at the end, or you can use this seed information for regenerating. And even if you did it like months and weeks ago, whatever, like the seed exists, it's the source material. So it's really helpful. Okay, cool. So this is kind of taken my initial idea and built something out. It's fine, but I want it to be way more fun. I want to go way, way more fun, way more extreme. Let's see what we can get next. So my workflow is now building out and upon and on this thing. Now, I just want to show you an example I did yesterday. I had these shapes. I like them. They're like these quirky kind of like abstract, cute little things that I was building. And then I was like, yeah, that's awesome. But I, with edit with AI, I said, okay, that's great. Now turn it into a world. So those initial shapes that I had, I've now got to build like a cute little fluffy world. And I was like, oh, that's great. But I want to go out and make a music video. And so I was like, okay, cool. So 
like go build like go further and i'd say go wider build out more build out more make more show me more build it into a universe build it into a space go further out zoom out go wider <laughs> and so all these prompts you can see oh, oh, i went to the galaxy there we go didn't love the dragon ones but i was able to just like take my initial idea and just go crazy with it and i built out this entire like galactic space universe thingy from it um and it was really 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 fun okay cool so yeah these are these are kind of building i think it's made it more fun i agree that's probably a bit more fun i don't love it i'm gonna say make a make a city from these shapes okay so now if you were doing a different project if you were making more of like maybe you're making a poster or something with text or whatever your task was like an advertisement as those load out so this is kind of that functionality of like go wider go wider go wider which are really really fun ways of working so this is our world that we've kind of built out and we can go as far we can go further with it we can get more abstract we can get more detailed but i just let's go into doing our next function which is describe with ai 